Alright guys, I am here with my Hobie Pro Angler 12 and I'm going to be doing a review on this kayak right now. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. This is a 2016 model kayak. Uh, it has the Vantage Sheet as you can see right there. The Hobie Mirage Drive right there. The H Crate right there. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's get into a closer look and get into some details. Let's start off at the front. Up here, you have a dry hatch. One of the biggest dry hatches in the industry. Uh, it'll keep everything from phones, wallet, keys, lures. Pretty much nothing will get wet in here unless you like flip your kayak or something. So just don't do that. Uh, that is the front feature of the boat. And as we get going down the sides, You'll see this H rail system. It stretches almost the full length of the boat. And you can mount any Hobie accessories on here. I, I only have a cup holder and a rod holder right here, as you can see, but it's holding my paddle right now. Um, and then you have these mounting plates right here. And you can, they made these that way you don't have to drill into the plastic of the kayak. You can just drill into this. Because as you can see, under these mounting plates, you have a little bit of room before you hit the plastic of the kayak, which is really nice. Oh, you don't have to worry about any leakage or anything like that. Uh, moving on, you have the Hobie Mirage Drive pedal system. Right here. These are the turbo fins on there. Comes with the Pro Angler 12. And uh, I'll set up the camera later, that way you guys can see how these actually work. And moving on, we have another dry hatch. That is for tackle. Twist lock, open it. Uh, the Hobie comes with two Plano tackle boxes. This one I just have a couple lures in. This one, all my hooks and weights. And this is just a mesh pocket. I usually put some pliers in here, like a knife or something to cut braid, something like that. And more tackle storage under here. You can put tackle boxes, strap them down. This is your rudder system, left, right. And uh, another rod holder right here. All right, now we get into the vantage sheet. This seat is extremely comfortable. You can go all day on this. It has a uh, lumbar support right here, twist it, tightens, loosens. Nice mesh, it's breathable so you don't get hot. Uh, you adjust it by these, so if you push, you turn it right, seat comes up a little bit. You push, turn it left, seat comes down. Same with the other side. But the other side is just this right here, the backrest. So you click it one time to the left, and same thing with going back, you just push it down, click it to the right, and it goes back. Sorry for that boat noise right there. Wait. There he is. All right. So that's pretty much all about the vantage seat and. You can, I'm in the high position right now. This is how I like it. For uh, I, sight, I was uh, sight fishing earlier, so it's nice to have this seat up like this so you can see in the water better. But if you pull, uh, where is it? If you pull the kickstand right here, you can lift your seat up, pull the kickstand, now you're in the low position. As you can see, the seat is not propped up on these. It's propped up on the plastic at the bottom of the boat. Uh, this is for, this pulley right here is for your skeg. Uh, it's under the bottom of the boat, right? I can, I'll flip it over in a little bit and show you, but it's under here. And uh, on the other side you have just your standard rudder pulley right here. And then uh, your rudder tension knob is right there, right there. All right, 
and let's get in so I have the H crate attached on right now this is what this is the H crate another with the H girl H rail system so you can mount all Hobie accessories on here and uh, I have a live well but it's in my garage I usually just use the H crate because I can store my tackle in it stuff like that uh, you have this flag I always keep the flag on here just in case I'm out past night I uh, twist this and I can have a light as well it floats and it's pretty cheap and it's like well worth your money for sure I have this side tackle I just have a couple loose lures in there some leaves I think it looks like and uh, you can put your pliers here just hang your hooks so that they don't get rusted stuff like that and in the age crate itself I have tackle box box full of lures I have yet to put away this thing is stacked lures in line mostly from a couple of mystery tackle boxes and lucky tackle boxes stuff like that and uh, I got some other lures in here Lake Fork trophy lures these are some of the best Senkos on the market I found as well as the uh, Gary Yamamoto got some gambler lures in there turban tails Cross and some Z-Man finesse worms for shaky hits. So uh, yeah, that's it for the H crate. This is uh, if you want to get into your rudder, if you need to fix or anything, you just unscrew these, and uh, then you just have a back rail right here for uh, carrying. So yeah, and like I said. Hobie Pro Angler 12, the Mirage Drive. All right. Well, I'll get back to here. Actually, here, one more thing. This is a sail mount right here. You can mount a sail to this kayak. It's pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, so the sail will go up here. You have another sail tie down back behind the chair. And uh, you can enjoy yourself uh, on the water sailing. And another place to store your rods is there are two rod tubes on either side. So I can store four rods right here. And I can store three rods with a uh, flag there. I can store three rods in the uh, H crate. So I'm going to flip it over and show you all the skeg and rudder. Get back to you all in a second. All right, back with you all with the uh, bottom of the boat. Start off over here. This is the Mirage Drive. So you can see it folds nice and flat on the bottom. If you're in skinny water, you can just flex your, uh, just barely move the pedals and it'll flutter kick like this so you don't get stuck or anything like that. And then basically, if you do a full stroke, it'll look like this. It's just the uh, propulsion system based off of how penguins swim, actually, which is really, really cool. So moving down, we got the Hobie. Lorenz ready system. You uh, unscrew these bolts right here and you can put a transducer, fish finder, Lorenz ready. So it's easy, uh, easy to mount and really no drilling into the actual boat. Hobie has really helped in that way to where you, you they don't want you to drill in the boat. All right, moving on, we got the skeg here. Sorry, the shadow might be bad, but it's all right. Uh, so this drop down skeg, it goes pretty far down in the water column, so if you're getting on skinny water, I'd suggest pulling that up. This just helps you track a little bit better uh, if you're in rough conditions. And then you get to the rudder right here, and man, this, this rudder is like, it's amazing. It turns on a dime. It's probably one of the best features of this kayak, to be honest. And uh, it, it's not, it doesn't stick out too much, so you can get in pretty shallow water with it as well. And uh, so the very end, you got these drain holes <laughs> just for, uh, I've had to use these a couple times actually. Just when the water gets filled in the kayak, you gotta, you gotta go somewhere. So yeah. All right, well, this is the Hobie Kayak Review, growing the 12. And uh, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe.